Well, on this Thanksgiving, a local family is especially thankful for an exchange that gave the gift of a better quality of life. Valerie Pritchett reports. Well, I'm a very social person, so trying to stay connected through social media and things like that. We share Miranda Nixon's story about this time last year in the heat of the pandemic. Miranda, diagnosed with kidney disease at 17, spent six plus years on dialysis. Her kidneys failed, working at just 10 percent. I am immunocompromised. With no family match, in 2020, Miranda hoped the kidney exchange program would find one for her. It had been about six months or so since I was put on the transplant list. In November, we were still looking for a donor. Fast forward to 2021. Cumberland County's Mary Oliveira, a family friend of Miranda's mom, Tina, saw a Facebook post that read, I'm a mom and my child needs help. It just hit my heart. It hit my soul. I reached out to Tina and I said, I'm going to try. I don't know where it'll go, but uh, I'm going to try. Every time I got called back for another test, that was a good sign. I was passing. And then the magic words. I recall it was the Friday before Martin Luther King Jr. weekend when I got the call from my coordinator and she said, you've been approved. And I started crying. Mary is not a match for Miranda, but is for another recipient through the paired exchange. The surgeries would have happened on the same day. I got the call from my coordinator. We have some news. Unfortunately, Miranda's direct donor is unable to move forward with the surgery next week. Will you still move forward? I was scheduled for St. Patty's Day to have surgery, but unfortunately, um, the person that I was receiving the kidney from um, had some issues with COVID. Mary is a trigger point for four exchanges that would be made around the nation. And I said, well, if I say no because I want to wait for Miranda's day, that means these other families have to get the same call she got because of my decision, and I can't do that. Mary donates a kidney in March with the promise Miranda will get one from someone else. I didn't get news again until June that I was um, gonna get a kidney. The person that matched with me was actually from Tennessee. So I got um, a kidney from Vanderbilt, flew in on the morning of June 9th, and I got surgery at 2.30. <laughs> I might cry. A life-changing operation. <laughs> you two are crying over there, oh my gosh. So I don't have to do dialysis anymore, which is amazing. Every day, I'm appreciative. I mean, I'm 24, and at that time, the last time we talked was, I had just turned um, 23. So um, it was kind of crazy because I felt like I still have so much more life to live and going through that process um, was a really difficult, but um, I'm beyond thankful every day to that person that um, donated on my behalf. So We've had this incredible experience and bond that we're able to share for forever. And uh, I remember being asked during the process, you know, what is your one big wish to come out of this? And I can look back, having just turned 50, to say I've had a really good life and I want Miranda to have the same. Miranda's kidney donation could last for 20 years. If you would like to learn more about kidney donation, go to ABC27.com. Valerie Pritchett, ABC 27 News.